I'm Brock the Yahawa, Brockata, Yahosha, Brock the Yahawa, Brockata, Yahosha, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Prophet, Your Wife May Not Make It. Lord, will you are edified. What we are witnessing is the aftermath of Lot's wife, okay? The consequence for not having faith. This video was inspired by a video the elders in New York composed entitled Women. And this video is located on the page of GMS Awakening 144, The End. Just to get straight to the point, because it's a heavy show, that um, I, I, did a, I, I, got a, I did a show basically based off a message that I got last week from a beloved brother of ours, uh, Brother Palau, Priest Palau, okay, out of the New York camp, okay? And it was on the 28th of last Wednesday. Actually, well, yeah, yeah, on the tw last Wednesday, and um, brother Palau sent it on a group chat uh, of a message from a brother in Indiana. Okay, now forgive me, I forget the brother's name. That's Lockyer. And the brother's name is the Mashapod. Okay. But um, the brother had a vision, the brother in Indiana, GMS camp in Indiana had a vision, and, or a vision or a dream. And it was a, basically a vision or the dream was a, uh, was a message from the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashimai Shai, okay? And uh, when you read, I'm going to read it to start off the video, but basically I did a video last week on it. I'm not going to go into it. I got phone issues and I couldn't post it. So... The water through the grace and mercy of Abbey Hashem and Shah, we're here doing it today. You know. Um, but the title of the video I had was um, The Most High is gonna divorce you women. The most high is gonna divorce you women from the men of the Lord by death. And mind you, this was a, a mass text to brothers. Hey, Shalom, Malachim. And this is the message. Which means kings. Shalom, kings. Yesterday, I prayed for the sisters that got sick. The Lord told me something. And I don't mean any harm, but he told me to tell you all, a lot of these women have been disrespectful to the Lord's servants. A lot of them have despitefully cast off the Lord's warnings from you. They haven't respected you, neither feared you. They have given you grief. They have looked for attention from other men. They have cast your love to the floor as weakness. The Lord has mercy on them because of your love. The Lord has kept them because you suffer what they suffer. But to ease your suffering, the Lord told me to tell you this. He is tired of, of seeing his servants looked over. He is tired of his servants being mistreated. Now the Lord is going to deal onto them according to their dealings. The Lord is going to start killing people they love. Some of our wives may humble down. Some may die. A lot of their close family members are going to start dying soon. Some of them do bullshit that we don't see like talk shit about us to their family and friends. That is true. Some, of, some have committed adultery in some form, form, spiritual and physical. That is also true. The Lord is fed up. He's going to start requiring blood. 
and some of us will be affected. But the Lord told me to tell you, Akim, that these judgments are because of them. The Lord even told me to warn my wife that if she don't cut the bullshit, he's going to kill some of, someone close to her. I'm going to do a lesson on this. Prophet, your wife may not make it. Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy, she, referring to your wife, your possession, your assistant, your succor, your aid. And guess what? The scripture, this scripture, classify her as an enemy. She'll see it. See what? Everything you said to her. In the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, happening in real time. Prophecies that you stated via the spirit being exercised on earth. And shame shall cover her, which said unto me, this is the shame. Okay? Along with being disorderly, being rebellious. Okay? Just being a bitch. Where is the Lord Yahweh, thy power? All right, now this proves what? That this woman is the wife of a prophet. Why? Because she knew the name. That's why it's written in all caps. Where is the Lord Yahweh, your power, not her power, which further proves that she wasn't following you? She did not believe in the teachings slash doctrine of Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha. And guess what? Judgment has to be executed. My eyes shall behold her. Behold what? Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets, meaning death and whatever form it comes in. Prophet, your wife may not make it. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, the him, referring to an angel, go through the mists of the city through the midst of Jerusalem, referring to the nation of Israel, and set a mark upon the foreheads. This mark means what? An exemption of judgment. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry, the elect, okay, for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Verse 5, and to the others, he said, in mine hearing, meaning what? Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, wants to hear screams and the pleading of people before and when and during their deaths, okay? Go ye after him through the city and smite let not your eyes spare, literal, neither have ye pity, literal. Slay utterly old and young, both maids. Maids are what? Women, females. So from young girls to old ass hoes, okay? Kill them in my hearing. I want to hear them scream, beg, plead, profit. Your wife may not make it. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, women again. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, the elect, and begin at my sanctuary. Okay? So, of course, all right, if you are in this situation, 
you can and will be affected. However, according to Romans 15 and 4, For whatsoever things were written aforetime, meaning what? In the past, were written for our learning, for this time now, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Hope. Hope to move forward. Hope to hold on. Okay? Hope to continue to believe. All right? Case in point, Genesis chapter 19, let's start at Genesis 19 and 15. Now this is going into the account of Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take your wife and take and your two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. Verse 16, and while he lingered, the men laid hold, it's like it, and while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the, the, the hand of his two daughters. The Lord Yahweh being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. These were the instructions for Lot and his family. Okay? Do not look back. Verse 24, then the Lord Yahweh rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord Yahweh out of heaven. Verse 25, and he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. Verse 25, it's like it. Verse 26, but his wife looked back. From behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. All right. So what happened? His wife looked back. Why? Because she was part of that world, part of that system. And she began to miss it. But most importantly, she did this because she did not have faith to follow instructions. All right. However, what was Lot's reaction? He continued to move forward. He continued to move forward, although his wife did not make it. So if we are affected by this circumstance, all right, we must stay in the same spirit Lot was in and move forward. Okay? Point blank period. Profit, your wife may not make it. Shalom.